one pigeon holes with at least two pigeons in it so this is the concept of pigeon hole principle the k value is greater than the n value so you can use the generalized principle right so n is greater than k if n is greater than k you can use this formula n minus 1 by k plus 1 so what is the value of k k plus 1 is equal to 3 so k is equal to 3 minus 1 just 2 so k equals hello everyone i'm shweta computer science faculty vidya shampar street college mysore in my previous session, I have discussed the problems on counting. So today I am explaining the new interesting concept called pigeonhole principle. So what is this pigeonhole principle? I hope you know about pigeon, right? Pigeon and nest. So today I am explaining the topic called pigeonhole principle. So what is this pigeonhole principle states that? The principle states that if there are more pigeons, if there are more pigeons than the pigeon holes. Example, I have six pigeon holes. Listen carefully. I have six pigeon holes and nine pigeons. I have six pigeon holes. One, two, three, four, five, six and nine pigeons. Then there must be at least one pigeon holes with at least two pigeons in it. I'll repeat. I have six pigeon holes and nine pigeons. So how to accommodate nine pigeons into six boxes? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So easily I can accommodate six pigeons in six boxes, right? But I have nine pigeons here. So how to accommodate nine pigeons in six boxes? So here at least one pigeon hole contain two pigeons. Clear? Example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pigeons are accommodated. Now again I will accommodate 7, 8, 9. So at least, at least one pigeon hole contains two pigeons in it. So this is a concept called pigeon hole principle. I will repeat. If there are more pigeons than the pigeon holes, more pigeons than the pigeon holes, example, 8 pigeons greater than 6 pigeon holes. So here, there are more pigeons than pigeon holes, then there must be at least 1 pigeon holes with at least 2 pigeons in it. So this is the concept of pigeon hole principle. So one more example I will explain. Here I have four pigeon holes, but I have to here I have four boxes. I have to accommodate six hats. I have to accommodate six hats to this four boxes. So I can accommodate one, two, three, four hats easily. Then remaining two, at least one pigeon holes with at least two pigeons in it. So this is the concept of pigeon hole principle. And if k is a positive integer and k plus 1 or more objects are placed in k boxes. If k is a positive integer then k plus 1 or more objects are placed in k boxes. Then there is at least one box containing two or more of the objects. So this point you have to write in exam. And we have generalization in pigeonhole principle. Now we have understood the concept of pigeonhole principle. So next is generalization in pigeonhole. So what is this generalized in pigeonhole? If n objects, n objects means n pigeons are placed into k boxes. n pigeons are placed into k boxes. If n is greater than k, n is greater than k means, n means pigeons. Pigeons is greater than the number of boxes. That means pigeon holes. Boxes means it is pigeon holes. Number of objects means it is pigeons. If your pigeons is greater than 
pigeon holes that means number of objects is greater than boxes then there is at least one box containing at least n by k objects or n minus 1 by k plus 1 objects so this is a formula n minus 1 by k plus 1 so this is the formula for generalization in pigeonhole principle by using this formula easily we can simplify the pigeonhole problems clear so it is very simple concept here if you get number of object is greater than the number of pigeonholes number of pigeons is greater than pigeonholes then easily you can understand it is based on pigeonhole principle problem if your number of object is greater than number of boxes or number of pigeon holes so easily you can understand it is this problem is based on pigeon hole principle so easily you can apply this formula that is n minus 1 divided by k plus 1 clear this is a formula for generalization in pigeon hole principle so keep in mind number of particles if number of particles is greater than number of position or number of places number of particles is greater than number of places that means n is greater than k then we can understand it is based on pigeonhole principle so easily you can apply this formula n minus 1 by k plus 1 so by using this formula we can simplify the pigeonhole principle problems so let's understand with an example Find the minimum number of student in a class is to that three of them are born in the same month. Listen carefully. Find the minimum number of student in a class is to that three of them. Three of them are born in the same month. So, totally we have 12 months, right? So, n is equal to 12. n is equal to 12 and we have to find the value of m. So, how many number of students in a class is that three of them are born in the same month. So, totally we have 12 months. So, n is equal to 12. We have to find the value of m. So, now kn plus 1 is equal to how much? That means m is equal to how much? So, m is equal to kn plus 1. And here we are not applying the generalization formula. You just see you can easily simplify this because the number of student in a class they have not mentioned three of them are born in the same month so k plus 1 is equal to 3 so number of months is 12 n is equal to 12 we have to find the value of k and m so what is the value of k k plus 1 is equal to 3 so k is equal to 3 minus 1 it is 2 so k equals 2 now find the value of m so m is equal to k n plus 1 so k value is 2 and n value is 12 plus 1 so 12 into 2 is 24 plus 1 is equal to 25 so 25 students are born in the same month so here they have mentioned minimum number of student in a class is to that three of them are born in the same month clear so totally the minimum number of student is 25 in that class three of them have born in the same month so totally 25 students in classroom so this is the method of pigeonhole principle so here the number of month is 12 they have not mentioned they have mentioned Three of them are born in the same month. So, n is equal to 12. And only three of them are born in the same month. They have not mentioned the number of total number of students. So, we have to find the total number of students. By using this formula, easily we can find the total number of students. That is 25. The next problem, if five colors are used to paint 26 doors. So, totally five colors are there. To paint 26 doors. Assume that this is the value of k and this is the value of n. So, here n is greater than k. So, boxes. So, totally 26 doors are there. 
from five colors they has to paint 26 doors so the k value is greater than the n value so you can use the generalized principle right so generalized pigeonhole principle so five colors and 26 doors so you can treating as 26 doors are pigeon holes and five colors are pigeons so n is greater than k so easily you can apply generalized principle so read it properly 26 doors prove that at least six doors will have colors six doors will have color so by using the generalized principle we can find out they have mentioned prove that at least six doors will have color. So totally five colors are used to paint 26 doors. Prove that at least six doors will have color. So assume that one of them have assigned to. So what is the formula? N minus 1 by K plus 1. So N minus 1 means N is equal to 26 minus 1 by 5 plus 1. So, 26 minus 1 is 25 plus 1. 25 by 5. This 25 by 5 is 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. So, at least prove that at least 6 doors will have color. So, we proved that 6 doors will have color. Please understand the logic. If 5 colors are used to paint 26 doors means. So, here 26 doors are pigeon hole and 5 colors are pigeons. So here n is greater than k. So number of objects is greater than the number of positions or locations. Then we can apply the generalized principle. So n minus 1 by k plus 1. So substitute the values you will get 6. So here we have proved that at least 6 doors will have color. Clear? And the next problem Prove that if any set of 29 persons, 29 persons, at least 5 person must have been born on same day of the week. So, totally 29 persons, at least 5 persons, at least 5 persons must have been born on same day of the week. So, n is equal to 29 so, n is equal to 29. Here we have to prove that 5 person must have been born on the same day of the week. So, here n is equal to 29 and treating that 1 day of the week has 7 pigeon holes. 1 day of the week has 7 pigeon holes. So, here pigeon hole is 7. So, n is greater than 7, right? n is greater than k that is 29 is greater than 7. So, easily you can apply the generalized formula n minus 1 by k plus 1. So, n minus 1 by k, n value is 29 minus 1 by 7 plus 1. So, 29 minus 1 is 28 by 7 plus 1. So, 28 plus 7, take LCM. So, 35 by 7, it is 5. So, 5 person or more than 5 person must have been born on same day of the week. That's it. Very simple problem. So, here 29 persons are the value of n. So, n is equal to 29 and we have to prove that at least 5 person must have been born on the same day of the week. So, 5 person are born on the same day of the week. So, I will assume that 1 days of the week has 7 pigeon holes. So, k is equal to 7. So, 29 is greater than 7. So, easily you can apply the generalized formula n minus 1 by k plus 1. So, here I have applied and I got 5 persons. So, 5 persons must have been born on the same day of the week. So, 5 persons must have been born on the same day of the week. And the next problem, how many persons must be chosen in order that at least 5 of them will have birthdays in some calendar month. So, here we have to find the value of n. So, n be the required number of required number of persons. So, how many persons must be chosen in order that at least 5 of them will have born birthday in some 
calendar. So totally we have 12 months, right? Apply the formula n minus 1 by k plus 1 is equal to at least 5 of them. Here we have to find the value of n because they have not given the value of n. How many persons must be chosen? Here we have to find that how many persons must be chosen in order that at least 5 of them will have birthdays in some calendar month. So totally we have 12 months that is k is equal to 12 and we have to find the number of person that is n is equal to required number of person. Here they have given at least 5 of them have birthdays. So n minus 1 by k plus 1 is equal to 5. Find the value of n. So k value is 12 plus 1 is equal to 5. Take the LCM n minus 1 plus 12. So 12 is a LCM. Cross multiply this is equal to 5. n plus 11 by 12 is equal to 5. So you can cross multiply this 12. 12 into 5 is 60. So 60 minus 11, 60 minus 11 is equal to 49. So n is equal to 49. So totally 49 persons must be chosen in order that at least 5 of them will have birthdays in some calendar month. It is not some, it is same calendar month. Clear? So this is the problems based on generalization in pigeonhole principle. It is very simple. If your n value is greater than k value, so easily you can apply this generalization method. The next problem, prove that if 30 dictionaries in a library, a total of 61,327 pages, then at least one of the dictionaries must have at least 2,045 pages. So here, the library in library in 30 dictionaries in a library, a total of 61,327 that is the value of n. So n is equal to 61,327 pages because the value that means pigeon holes is lesser than the pigeons. So this is pigeons. Pigeons is higher than the pigeon holes. So how many pigeon holes are there? We have 30 pigeon holes. So pigeon hole is 30. Pigeons are 61,327. So n is greater than k. Is it right? So n is greater than k means so easily we can apply the generalization method. So n minus 1 by k plus 1 plus 1. So n value is 61,327 minus 1 by k means it is 30 plus 1. So subtract this 61,326 by 30 plus 1. So you can divide this. So divide this you will get 2044, 2044 plus 1. So it is 204. Five. So, totally 2045 pages in dictionary. One of the dictionary must have at least 2045 pages. So, we got 2045 pages. Clear? So, this is about your pigeonhole principle. So, today you learned the problems on pigeonhole principle. Please practice all the problems and it is very simple concept. In my next session, I will come with a new concept called permutation. Thank you.